What's up, guys? I'm LQ. This is the LQ Review. LQ Review here to talk about my review of Big Legend. Yes, I know Big Legend is a movie that came out last year, and I just now got caught up with it this weekend. In fact, I kind of forgot about it to be honest with you. <coughs> and then I was um, flipping through Vudu and just seeing what was in their free titles for the for the month. And I saw Big Legend. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about this movie. I wanted to watch this last year. And then I didn't. And then I forgot. So I got caught up with it. And even though I typically only review stuff that's kind of current, I thought that I would take a minute to talk about this. Because I really liked this movie. <laughs> Alright, so this is about <coughs> this is about a, um, a um, veteran... A, a, He's a younger guy, you know, probably around my age, who comes back from service. He takes his fiance out on a backpacking trip in through the woods, and she's taken. She gets taken. And he thinks it's a bear attack. He ends up co going back into the woods to kind of investigate her disappearance. And that's when he learns that it wasn't a bear attack. It was, in fact, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, whatever you want to call it. Um, the grass man, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, he finds out that that um, it was Bigfoot that took his took his fiance, and he ends up running into another hunter out in the woods, and the two of them start tracking this Bigfoot, <coughs> and uh, they eventually come upon it, and there is some fighting that takes place and there's some injuries that occur and, and, and there's um, just a lot of really fun interactions between these two hunters and Bigfoot. And I got to tell you that at the end of this movie, it was, it was the Bigfoot version of Predator. I'm telling you, that's what I got out of it because you've got this a veteran who Around his camp in the woods, he starts setting traps. He starts setting traps for the Bigfoot. And he starts strategically placing weapons around for the Bigfoot. And and um, then he decides to call it in. To, 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 and I half expected him to light a torch and put it in the air and, and go, Roar! That's not what happened. He just honks on the horn <laughs> of his car. But... When the Bigfoot does come in, we get ourselves a nice, tense sparring battle. Sparring battle to the death between the Bigfoot and this and this war veteran. And yeah, it felt like the Bigfoot version of Predator, but so often these movies feel the effects are fake and it takes you out of it. Or the characters aren't well written and it takes you out of it. Or the action is poorly executed and it takes you out of it. There's often something that takes you out of it in these B movies, these Bigfoot movies. And this one, I didn't get that. This one I, it felt very realistic to me. It felt, it felt very authentic to me. Now, that being said, there were no long shots of the creature. It was all very quick, very quick shots in camera and out of camera, oftentimes we would just see the arm dangling or we would see the hair on the back of its head or we'd see its silhouette. We often didn't get long, we never got long screen time at a single time, uh, uh, any long shots of the Bigfoot. It was all fleeting, it was fast. And that added to, I think, the terror, the suspense. It was just, it added a lot to it for me. It was the Jaws effect. It was a Jaws effect. What we didn't see scared us. So I got to tell you that all that being said, this was just fun. This was a fun movie. Now, I would say the downsides, yeah, there wasn't a big budget in this. You know, it was well acted. I'll give it that. It was well acted. These There's only three or four actors in the whole movie. But it was very well acted. Maybe five or six actors. But everybody in it, I bought their parts and they did a good job. Um, it was shot on location in the woods. So, I mean, you didn't have to have a big set constructed for this. The vast majority of this, I 
definitely went into special effects and there still wasn't a lot of special effects in this. Um, and I could tell that there was just a low budget on this movie because as I said before, the special effects that we got were fleeting, very short, very fast, but they did them in a way that was convincing enough that it wasn't distracting. It didn't take me out of the movie. So had an, this movie was, this movie was good. This is a good Bigfoot movie. If you're a sucker for Bigfoot movies like I am, cause I even like the bad ones. I do. I even like the bad ones. Um, so if you're a sucker for Bigfoot movies like I am, you're going to really like Big Legend. And it has a really cool scene at the end with Lance Henriksen. Not going to spoil anything other than the fact that Lance Henriksen has a cameo in it. And it's really cool. So, yep. Big Legend, I give a B-. minus. Just a good, fun B movie that was scary and it pretty much avoided a lot of the silliness that you get in movies like this. So if you're a fan of these type of movies, I would check it out. Bottom line is, did you guys see Big Legend? If you did, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for being here at the LQ Review, where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you later. Every single day